Putting the car back together this year is definitely a huge struggle, but dent by dent, weld by weld, you know, grind after grind, it's gonna happen and I'll be ready for 2016. 2015, uh, we learned a lot of new things. The biggest thing was to be way more aggressive in my driving. I kept playing it very conservative. You know, I wanted to make sure I would complete runs and not spin out, not make major mistakes. And I really didn't give myself a chance to win. So for 2016, the biggest plan is to just charge hard, be super aggressive. The best part of the last season was definitely competing at the World Round. It was a really good experience driving with uh, Robbie Nishida. He actually chased me and I followed him one time. Conversing with him after and talking about how the car was and you know, he told me that the car was really fast, which was you know, a really a testament to the chassis and how good it is. I'm proud to be the only driver in the Formula Drift Canada series driving an E46 with a BMW engine. With the new setup, we're basically going to have a similar car to last year, but on steroids. It's going to be better in almost every category, more reliable, more power, more traction, just all around way more competitive car. We have a couple new sponsors on board and a couple of sponsors continuing their support. Uh, BC Racing was a, a big contributor last year. One of the new sponsors for 2016 is iRace Autosports. I'll be getting my new racing seats, FIA head restraint seat uh, through them, as well as my new turbocharger. Another sponsor is DKM Clutch. Uh, we're going to be running uh, their race twin disc. One of the biggest things I saw this past season was how important the team is and how much they really help out, especially in the situations where you know things are going wrong, you think your weekend's over, uh, you know, I hit the wall, I come back in, I look at the car, the wheel's hanging off, the back end's just totally destroyed, and within an hour and a half, two hours, I was back to practicing before qualifying. I'm incredibly grateful for my team and everything they do for me. One of the reasons I really liked the uh, Formula Drift Canada World Round was just the amount of spectators, uh, the people that came from all over the place just to watch us shred tires, bang doors, hit walls. It really shows the popularity of drifting in North America. It also shows the level of drifting in Canada is extremely high uh, with the top competitors from all over the world driving and there was still you know, a Canadian driver on the podium and lots of Canadian drivers in the top 32 and top 16 competition. So come out to an event, check out some door banging, some wall riding, come chat with us in the pits. This isn't Formula One, it's Formula Drift. You can come by, hang out with us, we'll pop the hood for you and uh, have a good time.